So my name is Alan Stockdale. I run a company called Find Light Productions. I create content for agencies and brands. One of the agencies I work with in Brighton are called Propellernet, and they had a great um, concept for a project they were working with with Evan Cycles, and that was to use the original Hovis boy from the original Hovis advert where he cycles up the big steep hill. They're going to use him in this day and age to revisit Gold Hill and cycle up it on an e-bike. So we were on location for two days. The first day we were filming the original Hovis guy who's called Carl Barlow and they were, we were filming in a hotel room which we made look like just a house, just a bit of a mirror and could be any bedroom and outside of a cottage which we'd done a recce beforehand, they got clearance for that. Kit wise we used an A7S2 and we also used an A7R2 and we used the gimbal for the action shots of the bikes going up the hill of uh, Carl Barlow going up the hill at the very end. We used um, a slider, a motorised Kessler slider for very smooth tracking shots and also handheld. I worked with a bunch of different composers and one of them, this guy Alex Ball, who is superb. So he remixed the original track, which is what the last third of the edit is and then the first two thirds, I guess, is what I created in Filmstro. So for the Hovis project, Filmstro was a bit of a no brainer as far as how I produced the music. And um, there were a few sections that the client wanted to be a bar or two longer. And it meant that I didn't have to get in touch with my composer and wait for them to do it. I was able to do it instantly myself. And it is a super simple program to use. So I was able to just read the email, go, okay, right, they want that section changed. Go into my project that I had open already, fix it, render it out as a WAV file, upload it, send it to them, signed off right away, easy. I don't use a library, I've never used music libraries because I feel that if a client is putting so much money into a project and they use library music, you will see that at some other point on YouTube or wherever, you'll see that same music track and if you use a bespoke music track, then it gives it just that bit more of a tailored feel to it. That, that genuinely is why I, I would use uh, composers, because it makes it totally bespoke. Mm, that's why I don't want Filmstro to get too famous. <laughs> <laughs> so for all the fine light productions, music is essential, it's key, it always has been. I've got a background in music, I used to drum in bands, and for me, the music always comes first. Um, and I build on that. The, the connection with the visual and the audio, it needs to, to complement each other. They need to be as strong as each other. So with Filmstro, I can get the right sound for each project that I need.